Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Eagle Moss, the official Starships collection model. Um, well, it's, it's not. The, the 180 of the standard issues have gone. They've been done. I've reviewed them. Thank you very much, Eagle Moss, for, for, for doing them. But there's more I want to do with them. Now, the 180 of the standard issue are safely boxed away. I don't have them out, I don't have them on display, I would rather keep them as pristine as I possibly can. The specials will keep coming, the bonus ones will keep coming, the online ones will keep coming, the Discovery ones eventually I'll re-get on with those eventually anyway, but there's no immediate rush. But I've been on eBay, so I went out and bought a model or two. Now, there was another little um, charity that was selling a couple of models. So I thought I'll um, help out a little bit and um, buy the lot of them. So I ended up buying a few. Yes. And there. And there. Some of these are absolutely brilliant. Some of these are I've got good ideas for and some of them... I haven't. Now, most of these are pristine. You've got your Enterprise 1701D, the one that came for, for £1.99 originally, and the refit version, my favourite version, although I do like the A in the colours that they're in, but these two are still cellophane wrapped. The rest of them, the Excelsior, Excelsior, Reliant, Far uh, the Honshu, I said the Farragut then, but it's the Honshu. I can't see the name on that one. Oh, it's that Apple. Appalachia. Not a Sabre class. Enterprise E, NX01, Voyager, Enterprise, Enterprise Original, 1701A, the Centaur. These two are a little bit of a problem. However, this is what this is going to be about. There are things I can do with these, and I want to definitely do something with this. With the Enterprise D, which is make a source of separation version, which I can't do that with mine because it's upstairs doing absolutely nothing and being just sat doing absolutely nothing. But parts can come off of these. And we've got to start with, we've got with the Excelsior, yeah, the Excelsior and the Enterprise B. Possible, maybe upgrade, take the nacelles off here and put them on here to upgrade the Excelsior yet again. What I'm kind of thinking is kit bashing. Now, kit bashing basically means taking parts off of one ship and using them on a different one. Hence, this was a kit bash. The original Centaur class was a kit bash that they used. I think these were the original Excelsior's nacelles. The Excelsior primary hull. And a Reliant, which we have on here, Torpedo Bay launcher. So they kit bashed three separate models. I don't know where these bits come from. I think they might actually be from here, from the Reliant anyway. So as pylons, they actually were just these parts here. See? Exactly the same. So, in the movies, in the series, in the also everything with it, they kit bashed the hell out of a lot of things. So, what I can do is attempt to kit bash. I mean, I could quite easily have took these, which were £40, by the way, for the entire lot, and that was including postage. I mean, I don't know how anybody missed these on, on eBay, but I didn't, and I got a good bargain here. And the money went straight to a charity, which is really, really good. And I'm happy that I'm buying from that and not from some scrupulous collector who wants to 
for an idea here. Who wants to make a fortune out? I was actually thinking, because that's an Excelsior dish, it's too big to fit onto one of these. So kit bashing, yes, we can do lots of things with. I know Damien, the Irish Trekkie, has done this is a sort of separation, but I'm gonna get on with that now actually and see what I can do. The restroom, yes, that does a sort of separation. Yes, possible sort of separate. I could easily just do attempt sort of separations on most ships. The Enterprise E, possibly, I don't know. But I'll have a look, see what I can do. And get back to you when I've tidied the desk out and see, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do with these. Now, Enterprise D, £1.99, easily spent. I should have bought a dozen of these when I first, when these first come out, because they are absolutely worth their weight. They, they, you can't get these now for quite, for, for cheap, for, for, yeah, as I've been looking for one to try and do the sort of separation on anyway, but you cannot get these for cheap. So the 199 is, oh, see what the tape on. So this has never, ever, ever been, been used, been opened, been looked at, just in the bag, doing nothing. So number wise, it's actually the first run as well. 8631A slash A. So first production run. Now I'm not sure if it's this one or the old good things dreadnought which has got oh, I haven't opened one of these for, for quite a while. If it's actually got the there's a difference on the the colours. Now I think Damien, all he did, because this is wedged into He's kind of waggled it quite a lot because you can see, I'll show you there. Let me get you zoomed in a little bit like you usually do on these videos. The back of the hole, that does move a little bit. Underneath the neck here. Yeah, you can't see it well. Yeah, there we go. Watch this bit there. See, there must be an easy way of doing this. I'm not quite certain I can. I don't want to prize this. I don't want to use any tools. Oh, see, right. See, I don't know what I'm actually, what's cracking on here. Could be the cells, could be part of the, the secondary hull. If it is, then so be it. I can stick these things back together again. Could be the neck piece. I'll just crack that. So, actually, that's coming out. Oof. I was about to cry then, but there are no pieces in there. That's the metal part inside there. So, these bits will stick back in there. But what I still need is that taken off of there. The thing with these, I think, is the glue over the few years, because that's the last one, the um, Enterprise C, with the cells off. It does actually kind of look like it's... The glue isn't very good. And that definitely will come off. I can stick that back on, so don't worry about that. Secondary hole is fine as it is. So it was this pit that was going. It doesn't look too bad as it is, but yes. But I could easily kit bash that on something else anyway. Hmm. That's almost your nebula class. That is almost your nebula class. <laughs> Before you all start screaming in. But yeah. Need a bit of brute force and a bit of luck, I think. I know these are just pinned in, I've watched Damien's video. But I might need a bit of a bit of a look. So give me a minute, quick cut, and I'll see what I can sort out with this. Okay, I think I'm almost out. It, I think there are three pieces of plastic holding this in. But I just had a crack then. Whittle. Basically all you need to do is just try and wiggle it just a little bit. As they would say in the um, oh, record that word, we're Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. 
But then this corner here seemed to have been stuck in place quite a bit, so something not right there. That front part popped off, that's why I restarted watching, recording the video again. Recommend using anything plastic, don't use anything metal because you will scratch your model if you're going to do this. And that front bit, I can see the first peg inside there. I don't want to break the pegs. Oh, there we go. And there you go. There we have it. Bit of paint being stuck on onto there with the glue, which is what's come off. So I can easily just pull that away. And there we go. It will fit back in place easy enough. Could make that a little easier to be honest by just just scooping the holes out just a tiny bit. I can touch up the paint on here anyway. So that will sit back in place. That's actually quite firm, to be honest. Ooh, that is really good and firm. But, to get it off, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He says. There you go. If you do this too often, then you can end up breaking it anyway. So it's, it's good as a, as a, we've got these for cheap, that we can play around with them. It's quite strange how the neck on this is the same shape as what it's supposed to be with that cut out there. It's kind of a little pity that that's not flat, but I, I suppose I could fill that in. All I need is these pegs to be proud. Or fill up to the level of where the pegs are. With glue or with something, then possibly paint over the top, as long as there's some sort of flat area. And we should be fine with. So that needs gluing back on. Well, actually, yeah, that needs gluing back onto there. It's kind of a little bit... The pins are there. I mean, did I break them off? I don't think I did. Let me have a look. Let me in close as I can. See, it looks rather round in there, like there's been glue on. And... Yeah, there's glue there, and there's... Yeah, I think this was just glued in place, and those... It just doesn't go into itself. There we go. Oh. Well, I'm too close. There we go. And he comes down. Manual docking. And then she goes. So yes, she's in pieces at the moment and a bit forward heavy that will come through, come off. But yeah, that's how you do a source separation on the Enterprise D. Now we'll go through in the next few weeks or so of what we can possibly do with the rest of the models what we've got. If any of them come my way, then fine, I'll see what else I can do with them. I mean, I'm more into the more Federation ships, do something with. I mean, they are lovely model these. I mean, even these as parts, this part here with the V round to there is one bit, line round, including the navigation reflector. So these are the parts that it comes with. The top section, pylons up to the nacelles. Nacelles are in one, two, three, I'll guess, four pieces. Top, bottom, blue section there. But you can see through, well, you can barely see through and that far away, can we, Ralph? But there's kind of a, a pin inside, we can see right in there. And there's one at the back as well, so that obviously holds things in place. There's a bit of flash in there. Yeah, that's an it's it's very easily doable. And the part that I didn't film was just a few minutes just to try and get the glue loosened from there. You could easily pull too hard, gouge too hard, and you could break, twist, snap, stretch the plastic so you'd absolutely ruin it. But I think that's quite a good source of separation. And this is all this all metal plastic, right? No, it's not. It is all metal, isn't it? No, it's not. Where's the join on that? Oh, hold on. I think I know where it is. Metal's on the outside. Metal's the outer rim. It's this. It's same as the... If you remember back the Disco Prize... 
Discovery Enterprise that I did. I made the Mirror Universe version of it. This section came off as well, which you can just tell now. Yeah. So not all die cast. Big chunk of metal. But what do you get for one pound ninety-nine? Tell you what I get. It's three pieces. So enough of me waffling. In future, we'll be having a look at these. See what I can do. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Try this yourself. Go out, find something on eBay, find, see what you can do. These are only the beginning, shall we say. So, yeah, they're a good starting point to faff, to mount. I actually have an idea to do with all the Enterprises, which now that I've actually made the source separation, I'm going to need another one of these. But I was either going to make a, a, a diorama with all these, spray them in gold, but the gold series are coming out. I assume there's more than this one and the original coming out in gold from Eagle Moss anyway, but nothing's been confirmed. We don't know. Or doing some sort of wall mount where I was going to actually cut them in half and then mount all the lot onto the wall. Not quite sure if I've got the skills to do that, especially with the, the metal sections. But these are things I can do with my, these are my spares and we'll see what we'll do with them. It might take us a month to faff around and play around with them all. It may take us a few weeks, but anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you've got some of these that you really don't want or they're in pieces, please get in touch. The descriptions are in the channel des description or I'm on social media and all that gubbins. Get in touch. Don't throw them in the bin. Throw, just chuck up my way. I'll, I'll take them off and I'll see where I can what I can play about with. So with that in mind, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.